Hi everyone! I am looking the absolute best I've ever looked my entire life. <laughs> it feels so weird to hear my voice coming out of this because I can see myself right there. <sighs> Anyway, as we all know, Halloween is coming up next month, and I love Halloween, and I'm like the stores, as soon as they start bringing out the, the stuff, like, several months early, I start thinking of looks to do for it. So last year I only did one Halloween look, and this year I want to do a lot more, so I decided I'm going to start now. Uh, I'm starting off, of course, can you guess who it is? The Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland, the Tim Burton version. I wish I had the hat, or the costume, or something, but this is why I decided decided to do, oh, the contacts, that would have been amazing, but, you know, it takes like a month to get here from wherever they ship from, so I figured it might not be worth waiting. Um, anyway, this is what I am doing. I hope y'all enjoy this. With the eyebrows, y'all can maybe snip some of the wig off if y'all have some wig and glue it on or something if y'all don't want to just draw it on. I just decided that I would do that because, because that's what I would do, <laughs> obviously. Um, but anyway, this is the Halloween look I'm doing today. If you want to learn how to be a Mad Hatter, then keep on watching and I will show you how. Oh, by the way, for that like gap in the tooth, I used uh, eyeliner and I'm going to go wash it off now. I would not recommend that. They do have stuff in store that is specifically for like tooth blocking and stuff, especially now that Halloween stores are open and stuff. So I'd probably do that instead of this. It feels gross and it's probably not good to be in my mouth and... Yeah. Anyway, you want to learn how? Then keep on watching. I will show you how. What's that song they sing? A very merry and birthday. Uh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, spurred into song as I'm trying to say my goodbyes. <laughs> Tutorial time. Ready, set, go. All right. First, I'm going to start off by blocking out my eyebrows. What I do is I get a glue stick and I just completely cover it over my eyebrows. Make sure it's completely covered. All the hairs are down. And after I'm done doing that to both eyebrows, I get a setting powder and I dust it all over my eyebrow. Um, do that a few times. I did it a few times. I didn't show me doing it over and over again, but I did it about three times to get it really good on there. And now I'm using my Dr. Brandt Pour No More primer just to prime up my face before I start painting it. And now I'm using my Ben Nye cream colors in the color white. Um, I'm just getting a flat brush there. This is a foundation brush from the Sonia Kashuk collection. And I'm just uh, painting that all over my face. Make sure you get around your nostrils and uh, nose creases and stuff real good. You don't want any skin showing so I just did that all over my face. The eyebrows instead of swiping it on you want to pat it in just like that. It's gonna look a little wider there than the rest of the face but that's okay because that's gonna be covered up by the eyebrows that we paint on later. So yeah just finish up the whole face make sure it's nice and even looking you can't see any brush strokes. If there are any strokes then I kind of do this patting motion to blend it all together. And then I'm going to set it. I'm using my Ben Nye Neutral Set Powder. There's also a white setting powder if you want to use that instead, but this is what I had, so that's what I'm doing, so the stuff won't budge or melt away. And now for all the fun colors, I'm using my Electric Palette. I'm using the color Jilted and putting that right there underneath the eye. This does not have to be perfect, and the left and right sides do not have to be even. The Mad Hatter is mad and crazy so his stuff is just kind of kind of messy and weird and stuff so just have fun with this part and now I'm doing it on the other side like I said the two sides don't have to be even or look exactly the same this guy's kind of messy so you can have it messy and it'll still look fine I'm extending it outward there a bit because later on the top color is going to match up there with the bottom. Now I'm using my blending brush to kind of blend it out a bit. And I am doing downward strokes there to kind of blend it down. Now I'm getting the color Urban and I am doing the nose contours. Um, I'm just going down the bridge of my nose, making it look really skinny there. Um, and I'm just extending it down almost to the tip of my nose, but not quite. And then I'm getting the brush and blending it down. 
And then I also went up there toward the crease, toward the eyebrow and stuff. And yep, just keep on blending it out to where it looks nice and smooth. And like I said earlier, even this, like the whole look does not have to be perfect. If you look at pictures of him, if you watch the movie, his face is just kind of crazy and it doesn't look nice and neat. And so, you know, if you mess up, no big deal. And now I went over again with a bit more purple just to darken it up a little bit more and get the creases up there a little bit deeper. And I'm adding more shading. I just wanted it to be a little more dark. I look a bit crazy without my eyebrows, but you know, I guess I should have done those first. Oh well. Now I'm using my blending brush and I'm just blending it out a bit. Just blending it out more toward my face, toward the left and right and stuff. And now I am doing the cheek contours. Um, in the movie, in the picture stills that I was working off of, it looks like the, um, kind of like how you would contour for your normal contouring, you know? But then once you get there down toward the edge, it kind of has a little scoop there. Like a little, a little scoop like I did there. So that's what I did and just drag the color downwards. and just blend it down to where there are not really super harsh lines. It's kinda, kinda fuzzy looking. And now I'm getting this color Gonzo and I am putting that all over my right eyelid. Left and right eyelid have different colors so I'm just putting on this one and I'm extending that blue out there to meet the pink on the bottom. Now I'm getting my blending brush, just blending that out. It doesn't have to be perfect. I think I've said that enough. I'll stop saying that. It doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> so yeah, just blending that out. And now I'm getting that purple color again, Urban, and I am just adding a little bit more depth there on the underside. So I'm just putting that on with a little brush, and then I'm going to go in and blend it in with the pink color that was there. And now I'll repeat with the purple on the opposite eye. And then blend, blend, blend. I'm doing the same thing I did on the other side with the blue. I'm just patting it on the lid and then blending it out. Now I'm using my Mehron uh, Paradise face cake things. Um, you have to spray it with some water to kind of activate it and to be able to use it. And then I am drawing on my eyebrows. As you can see, I already did that other side. I just had that there so you can see what it looks like whenever it's done. And then with this, I am just using a skinny brush. This is an art brush that I found at um, Michael's. I'm just using it to make delicate strokes, just like just like hair strokes, just really light strokes. If you can see, 
can probably tell by how like lightly I'm flicking my hand there. You don't want to just sit there and scrape it on your face. Just really light, delicate flicks. And you know, just make it look like his crazy old eyebrows. Then once I had the shape that I wanted, I went back in and kind of filled in the brow to make it look a little more um, brow-ish. And the brows are done. Now I am using the white paint for, from that uh, Paradise palette and I am um, putting white on my eyelashes. Um, so I'm just, be real careful with that. Don't get it in your eyes. Um, if you find something else white for the lashes that would probably work better than some paints, then by all means do that instead. Um, but this is all I had that was white that could go on my lashes, so that's what I used. So do that to both sides. I'm getting this orange color and putting in my waterline. And now time for the lips. I'm putting my Too Faced lip primer on like I always do before any lip color application. Now I'm using my NYX pencil in the color, what color is this? I don't know what, pinky, color pinky, and <laughs> lining my lips. Um, once I get to the outer corner, I kind of do a little flick upwards, just real subtly, because in the pictures of him and stuff, you know, he always looks real, real smiley there in the corner, so that's what I did. And then I went back over that with the color Happy Go Lucky from MAC. This was a limited edition color. I'm sure you can find another uh, dupe of this color, or not dupe, but similar color. You know, just, just a bright pink color. Put it on your lips. And now um, at the Halloween stores, they have this stuff where you can block out the teeth. So I would use that. I just did this because I didn't have anything at hand. And so yeah, black gap there. <laughs> and then if you have a wig, put it on. I'll have a link below where I got my wig. It came out flat, but with hairspray and stuff, I made it look like this. And the look is done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>